How about a little Hendrix to coat the lining? <laughs> wow! That's good guitar playing, man. Hard to beat that. We're here with the great Mike Gaffney. Mike will be at the Borgata all next week doing some stand-up. Some stand-up comedy, drawing from the pain, as we like to say. <laughs> so are you a big sports fan at all? Yankee fan. Yankee yeah. fan. Tanaka, I mean, obviously that's the guy to get, but... Uh, what do you think of the price tag, Don? What do you... You know, the way I feel about it is it's like <laughs> there really is no... You could talk about luxury, blah, blah, blah. The Yankees have all this money. And there's really no consequences in spending it, so they spend it. This this is the system. This is the rules of the game, and the Yankees are playing by it, and they have all the money, and other people don't. So until something drastically changes... Do well, you think we're going to go with seven... <laughs> no. Who's ever look, panned uh, look, out he's 25, for seven he's 25 years? Twenty-five years old. So yeah, is he you know, Asian man? They're never twenty-five. <laughs> I just don't Secret believe it. <laughs> Asian man. Uh, yeah, it's you're the right. Fifth, it's the fifth richest uh, deal ever for. A Looks pitcher. like a kid. But really, you, you throw yeah. those wow. kind of stats. And I mean, you, you don't know. You don't know when they're coming from the league in Japan. It's a different and game. And he was seven years in the league. They play like seven that. years. So yeah. I don't even understand. I mean, at the one point. Math. I mean, listen. I know it's not the competition, but you know, twenty-five and zero last twenty-five or twenty-four and zero last twenty-four. Whatever, 24 yeah. yeah. At one point two seven ERA. I mean, those are numbers. Man. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah, but uh, they, they throw more pitches in That's that it. in really? that league. They, they throw more pitches, and he pitched there for seven years. So, what does that equate to? Like a ten-year. U.S. career right. pitch right. number wise. Right. In American years, he's 111 years old. <laughs> <laughs> look at his wife, man. We get to look at her. Ton what a Tanaka out. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's gonna. Uh, that's what she says. That's what they said. Tanaka out is the cover of the Daily News. No, uh, oh. in, the, in the the page where they cover it, a few pages in Tanaka out. And again, <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. The trade for her wife for Rivera's wife, not a bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Did you ever see Clara Rivera? Right. Have you seen Clara? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. We, <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on. Yeah. The, uh, now, but how long have you been a Yankee fan since day one, right? Since I'm a, yeah, a little kid. I mean, right. Thurman Monson was Thurman Monson was my hero. I cried the, same the day thing. found. I did. I was I on cried. the street playing baseball when I found out. And really? Cried like a girl. I wept. I did. I wept. I. I uh, it was it was a tough day. He was a great guy, real popular guy, and to go like that, oh. you know. Especially when you're young, you don't understand. What do you mean? He's, right. And then you, then you get you get old. And you're like this kid. This guy's flying home to his kids. What especially, is I'm 11 years old, and I have a, a crazy uncle who's a Met fan, and he tells me on top of it Happily, that, probably. that that Munson was giving oral sex to the passenger, uh, the guy. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you know, he, he, didn't, he didn't tell me that was a joke till I was 19. You know? <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, well, listen, I, I, you know, again, I think the Yanks. This guy, who knows? He could feel that pressure. Uh, a lot of these guys who come over from Japan don't seem to feel the pressure. Because well, one guy felt it so bad he, he killed himself. But uh, isn't that what uh, Hideki did, right? Or Harasi? Well, who's the guy who killed himself? The former Yankee pitcher. And he blamed it on something Steinbrenner said to him. Arabu? Arabu, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Hideki I Arabu that. killed himself? Yeah. because Really? Because of... And he, cla you know, he claimed he was depressed over something uh, Steinbrenner he must, he said. He put this in a letter? Something like that, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, I did not know. know that. But I think you're right with... In that market, there it's just like a New York market. I mean, I mean, a lot of Japan, pressure. Oh my God, they're, they're gods over there. It's just like they would be in. New That's York. where he played, right? Tokyo or Hong yeah, Kong? Where do you play? They all play in. What's the name of the league? It's like the Nippon. Yeah. Something league. Could we find that out? And that's Hong Kong, Japan, everything? Asian I think that's the big league out. in Asia. <laughs> I think that's like Major League Baseball oh, it is? for Asia. I oh, think. okay. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, look, he was playing at the highest possible level over there. Yeah. And he, he had stats that were extraordinary. Right. Boschetti, your thoughts? Japanese people pressure themselves a lot, though. They, you know, they really do. Give us an succeed. example. Give us an example. I mean, you know, there's a high rate of suicide over there in Japan. There is still there's that. Give us an example. That's true. If they don't succeed, nope. they they cut this. I think they've summarized themselves. They summarize themselves? Well, whatever, jump off a building. I don't know whether it depends on the <laughs> thing. They summarize? Two completely yeah, different forms no, of suicide. A, a shoot them over the head, whatever, whatever it takes. You know what? I could summarize you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I could summarize you in two words. Obese, funny. 
Oh, thanks. I think I think the obese comes first. I shot his mic. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> well, I, I hope they do something with him. When uh, I met Mike, he <laughs> with Danny Aiello's joint. Remember Danny's place? Yeah, in Danny's upstairs. I played yeah. there quite a bit. Yeah. So he walking. Mike, this. Mike was closing this the the, the the show. Well, my buddy, I bring my buddy with me, and my buddy goes by the bathroom. And Mike's by the bathroom, <laughs> and my friend comes to me. He's like, "Yo, there's some." Dude lurking by the bathroom. I think lurking. They, I think oh, yeah, they left yeah. him there. Somebody just left him there. Like they, my friend thought he was just left. <laughs> no, it happened to with Sal. And, uh, and then he time. comes up on stage. My boss is like, he's on. St he's going on stage. That <laughs> uh, happened to me with Sal. The man is on stage. <laughs> what do we do? About the, Sal, the, a stockbroker. Yeah, we did a gig in the prime time in Jersey when it was open. Yeah, what happened? And, and the bouncer goes, who's that guy lurking around? No, but he's saying it was a Danny Aiello No, it happened more, more than once to me, though, he's, people. He's saying that's <laughs> not an uncommon story. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, thought yeah. you were <laughs> left. Some guy was like, who's that guy lurking around? Sal goes, no, no, he's on the show with me. He's a friend of me. <laughs> no, he's, a he he's a friend of me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying he's a headlining comedian? <laughs> no, uh, uh, Sal said to me, so he, the bouncer asked Sal, who's that guy lurking around here? He goes, he's, he's on the show with me. He's my friend. And, and that's how it ended? He's a friend of me? Yeah, he didn't bother me after that. This guy was like a gigantic big guy. I tell you, you asked for Mike to tell a story. That's what happened. <laughs> I like, that's my favorite part of the show. i got to be honest with you. Anytime you look over at Mike for a story, I'm like, yes. When he weaves a yarn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, what color do you think Mike's hair is? He says chartreuse. <laughs> what do you got going on there? I don't know. It's like a wig. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's real that's your real Yeah, hair, Mike, right? I thought, yeah. You, were, I thought no. you were going to stop coloring it. Yeah, well, you know, I, it's a new year, you know. I got to start fresh. Mike, don't admit it. Don't deny it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you just let it go natural and, and look like a distinguished gentleman? Uh, I'm not really that distinguished. Yeah, or a gentleman. Could, you could be. <laughs> you could look like one. Look like John Forsythe. Nah. Foresight? No. That's a hip look nowadays. <laughs> look like Charlie's That's Angels. Dynasty <laughs> reference. Charlie and Charlie's <laughs> Angels. If you go into a, a hair salon nowadays and say that, they're going to punch you in the face. <laughs> what about giving me Sebastian Cabot? Yeah, that's another hip I reference. <laughs> Mr. French from uh, A Family Affair. <laughs> oh. I mean, Pavarotti? My God, Mike. Pavarotti, oh. though. Uh, <laughs> now, do what clubs do you like to work at in New York? Dan I love Gotham. Love yeah, Gotham. Gotham's a yeah, club. I work Gotham a lot. And Dangerfields is good because it's grimy. I know. Dangerfields is that. It's it's our comedy store. Yeah. A throwback to the 70s. I was just in L.A. Uh, last month or two months ago, and I went by the comedy store. I used to play there sometimes. That place is really, like, on a lot of levels depressing. Uh. But it's 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 trapped in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you you go in those back dressing rooms and you, you can almost see Richard Pryor doing coke. Right. You know, it's <laughs> right, like, right. Uh, but uh, still, you know, you get on stage and, um, you Danger, know. Danger Fist gives you 20 minutes. I mean, it's a 20 minute spot. Right. Most of 12, most like 12 or 15. So it's a 20 minute spot, it's dark. Chario's still it is. there. It is. The, 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 the waiter from <laughs> right. when it opened. It's right with the there. red vest. Red vest. Yep. The red lamps are still there. It's all the same it's exact It's trapped decor. in the 70s. Yep. It is. Mm. And uh, Piano on stage. The, the, and, and the only thing different about the uh, the, the the comedy store in L.A. is uh, now nowadays you, you have to tell jokes that the Crips and Bloods would like. You know? <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> oh, man, that is, that's a crowd over there. That's a crowd over there. Do you spend a lot of time in L.A. ever? No, no. Yeah, no. have you been there? I'm going in two weeks. You've never been to L.A.? Not for comedy. This wow. I'm going in two weeks. What have yeah, you been there for? I've not gone when I was working like a salesman. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. What would you sell, crack? <laughs> <laughs> granite. I sold granite and flooring. Oh, that you did? That was my thing before, oh, okay. so I do comedy. And wh so uh, what? Uh, now, how long did you do that for? That's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a salesman. That's all I ever wanted to be. Was a lot a of money in sales, but I mean, you know, if you could get a couple of accounts. And ah, I wanted. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be like a, like a, like a guy with like a bag. You know, <laughs> that's what I did. That was like a man to me, like a dude. With a, that's why well, I wanted. Eventually, that's what, I'm going to be a guy with a bag, class music. <laughs> uh, but you, you, uh, <laughs> you. I mean, so that's a. You know, listen. That the thing is, the sales. Like, obviously, if you're a comedian, you'd be a good salesman. But you got to have that closing mentality. Could you close a that's guy? That's what I was doing. That's you what I good. did. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, 
my my sponsor at the time I had like almost nine years clean. He was like, you ever think about doing comedy? You're sharing, you're always making people laugh. And I'm like, I didn't even, to be honest with you, I didn't even know what stand-up comedy was. Right. I just thought people who were comics were funny celebrities, and they just put them on TV to tell stories. That's all I thought it was. I really didn't know what it was. And I did an open mic. You didn't know you started out like that. You thought it was like Burt Reynolds was funny. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, look, I mean, a lot of people, if you don't, Study it, wouldn't know that. You no know? clue. I don't. I mean, you know, you have, you see, Bill Cosby was my hero. Right. But he was an actor. That every time I saw a special, he was just an actor doing. Well, a special. he happened to be a guy who was brilliant actor and comic. Right. Uh -huh. But the nice kid, he was legend. You know, started out as a comedian, uh, as brilliant as they came. You know. So I went and did an open mic, and then that was it. Forget sales. I didn't even want to not ever go back to work. Did you kill the first open mic? I did a bar in downtown, right in. Um, called the Orange Bear. I think it's yeah. Called. Oh, yeah. Murray Street. I know yeah. it. I know the Orange I, Bear. I did, yeah. did an open mic. It was like four people, like, reading newspapers. Right. And I was like... <laughs> and, and they were it, comics. Yeah, they were. No, it was a blues guitarist open mic. It wasn't uh. even comedy. <laughs> and the guy's like, I want you to do 20 minutes. I'm like, 20? Yeah. You know, it's, it's my first time ever. Right? It's you and Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> <laughs> I did 20. These black girls came in off the street just to go to the bathroom. They watched me do this set. You did 20? I, Your 20 first minutes. time? Because I talk all the time in media, yeah, so it wasn't yeah, like yeah. nothing. It was like, what was the material about? About smoking drugs. No kidding. <laughs> that was it. That was my material. Well, listen, I, uh, and about being a parent, like a new parent. Smoking drugs and being a new parent? <laughs> was not an easy you know, speaking, of, speaking of smoking crack, I welcome my son in the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got to take a break. Mike Gaffney, uh, my new friend. <laughs> welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. I want to say this. Thanks to French Quarter's guest apartments for being our New York City hotel. Let them be your headquarters in New York City. Go to FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. I'm here with the great Mike Gaffney. He will be at the Borgata all next week. Check him out. Uh, how what about Twitter? You do all that stuff. How can we find? Yeah, I hate. Yeah, Twitter. Mike Gaffney now. Got to do it. Yeah, you have to. I hate it because I'm I, I get so obsessed it. with my numbers. <laughs> going like I get how I many wake people up, follow you? I, I, like it's nauseating. It's like not even a thousand. It's seven and seven hundred and change. How long have you been doing it? Twitter, like really, really, probably yeah. like a year. Yeah, well, I mean, dude, I mean, you're, you like, you're coming up. You're coming yeah. up doing everything you got to do. Nauseating. You, know. you wake up like, oh, I got eight new followers. By the end of the day, you have eight less followers. Where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, I obsess about it's that happening. too. I obsess about that too, and I hate that I do. But as a comedian nowadays, to plug gigs, I had a book out, the book company said, you got to do it. You know, you got to do it. Like, right. It's the new world. Uh, but, um, yeah, when you lose, you're like, what did I say? <laughs> what happened? I'm so upset. I'll just go right through the list. I'm like, is it someone, like, do I even care about? And then <laughs> if it's someone verified, like the girl from uh, Jersey Shore, uh, Sammy. She follows you? Sammy Sweetheart follows me. She's she was, cute. Oh, yeah. She was at a show at Gotham. And, and she saw you. She saw me with her man. And they she were, followed And she started following me. She dates that other guy. She dates the, the dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever, whatever, the jacked up guy. But I, I, every day I will go down the list to make sure she's still there. Is as she long, still there? Yeah, as, her, as long as her blue arrow's there, I'm good. I don't blue care. Blue arrow. <laughs> Everyone can go away. That blue check mark stays on Sammy Sweetheart. <laughs> I'm golden. That's <laughs> cool. I don't think I have any celebrities who follow me. That's good for you. Yeah, it makes yeah. me feel good. Uh, maybe I do. I don't know. It's hard to check. Uh, but, uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the celebrities. They're not going to come see me no. on some yuck no, yeah. yucks. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. What do I care? Uh, well, that's cool. I mean, you know, so it's it's Jim Gaffney now. Mike Gaffney now. Mike Gaffney. I mean, Mike hey. Gaffney now. Everyone says Jim Gaffigan. They get that in their head. Yeah. That's, that's exactly just, what was in my head. Everybody. That's everybody. Do people call you Gaff? Gaff. That was my name. Yeah, yeah. Gaff. 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 Yeah. How Gaff. many siblings do you have? I have a half sister and a half brother. My oh, okay. mother's first marriage. What'd your old man do for a living again? <laughs> he was a correction a officer. Of was he really? Yeah. Oh, God. So he worked he's in Broadway be... State Prison. Oh. And when they did that first scare straight, you guys were talking he about that? He was working there? He was working there. Oh, man. He was working there for that first scare straight. Wow. That was... that. Was... He was working there when the Hurricane Carter was there. Uh-huh. Then he went to Hudson County, worked in Hudson County Jail until the mid-'80s, and then he got transferred to Bergen County. That's why we moved to Bergen County. Is he retired now? No, he's retired, yeah. That's a tough gig, man. Oh. You got to be a special kind of tough for that. Man. Oh, yeah. And then God. he comes home miserable. Just a miserable I'm human. Sure. How could you not be miserable? But then you work, you run into the people he works with. Like, oh, your father? Ah, the best guy. Oh, that guy's a crack up. Like, who? That? The prisoners? <laughs> that? Yeah. Prisoners and guards love him. The house hates him. Like, really? We hate him. <laughs> when he comes in, you're like, we seriously? Hate him. You're home. Like, he used to work like back to back shifts. He would never come home. He was so happy. But then he You walks. think maybe he, that was a way. 
to cope with it. Like, you, you know... Uh, maybe he just maybe decompresses put, uh, and done, like he's done when he comes home. Maybe that's where he got the yeah. comedy from. Yeah. I mean, he, he could turn it on and off like that. That's a talent. Yeah, okay, yeah. now I got to be funny and charming. Right, right, you know? right, right. In a way, it's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm well, not, yeah, I'm not used, a walk in the park at home. He used all his energy and humor. <laughs> yeah, up. They love him. You've got him. a quota. And he, had to, he had to expend oh, it exactly, all at work. Oh, exactly. Totally expend it. Well, that's yeah. what comics do. Like, a lot of girls, like, they're like, oh, you're going to be so charming for these 2,000 strangers right. and 100 strangers. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm tired of it. Right. Yeah. That's why now, when, make with the pots and pans. <laughs> when people invite you out afterwards, like, you want to come to... To the right, we're gonna go out to the bar. You're like, nah, I'm not. Huh. The, I'm not gonna be the I dancing monkey at the bar. I know I'm yeah. not gonna do it. And you're gonna look at me going, "What do you think of this?" And I don't care. It's like, <laughs> it's like you getting talked about football. Really? I just want to have. Can I eat these calamari here? When I See, but bite that's home? the difference. With, that's why he's so good at what he does. John loves talking football. Yeah. Like you, you should be a coach one day. I mean, you love talking football. I'm not football. a good coach. Really? Have yeah. you tried it? I have. I tried, and what I, happens? What do you think? I was the a problem? volunteer assistant at my high school the year after I retired. Well, that's not really like trying it at a level where. Uh, you know? Well, well, first of all, as soon as I saw what the college coaches had to go through, I said, work. "No way am I doing that." I, endless hours, probably right. Endless hours. You have to go around and kiss the uh, behinds of all these high school kids when you're recruiting them. And oh, Sandusky no, actually did. <laughs> and there's no <laughs> job security. <laughs> They're moving around. They're moving their families around all the no, time. No, I know. That's, never the other, home. that's the other problem. Never home with their families. And uh, same with the Listen, the honey, you're Mrs. Dan Teardorf. You're Mrs. <laughs> Dan Teardorf. Am I going to St. Louis Green Bay? You're going to make me a pot roast in every GD city on the planet. And you're going to like it. You're going to effing love it. You're going to love being Mrs. Dan Teardorf. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a special wife. Like, that's why the Lombardi yeah. special on HBO, that documentary, his wife, man. She just, like, she would throw the cocktail a party. Trooper. They would Put a fake smile on. Like, I love having Ray Nitschke come over and take a dump in the, in the shower. <laughs> uh, it's great. I love it. And you could tell he was like that at home because both of his kids have these insane twitches. His son's like, my dad was a, I love my, <laughs> my dad was a great guy. You know, when he came home, sometimes he'd be a little aggravated. Uh, you know, and boy, you better eat all that. All those vegetables. Uh, you know, I, I swear to you, watch <laughs> the Lombardi oh. HBO documentary, his poor son. He's 52 years old now, and he's like, yeah, dad was a <laughs> bit of a you know, great guy, but a bit of a task... <laughs> Taskmaster. A bit of a taskmaster, but what a wonderful guy. But boy, you better have those suits pressed. You, uh, uh, he had a thing called uh, Lombardi time, which means if dinner was at 8, you had to be there at 7.45, or boy, did you get a licking. Uh, but what a great, uh, great guy! Yeah, what's going on out here? He would say that quite a bit to me in my. Uh, what a guy! Just a guy that boy, boy you, boy, you better have that closet clean. And uh, I loved him, but boy, you better not be homosexual. Uh, he was just the greatest guy, but boy, you better be heterosexual. You better be, you better be heterosexual. <laughs> Down, you're watching. Uh, but uh, now, do you have a good relationship with your father? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's that sort of. That's you know, funny. Uh, There's no way the cr like the criminal that got. It, you know how many times I used his name to get out of? It? Uh, oh right. There's that aspect of it. I know. And then I would try to suck it up because, like you know, like you got got a half a bag of coke. Like we're not going anywhere. And I would get busted with a friend. He was the first. My friend's like, "Yo, tell me about your dad." I'm like, "Shut." <laughs> We don't need to cash the dad card for the half a bag of coke. We're good. When the, yeah, you got to pick and choose. Yeah, you got to pick. But my buddies, every time, oh, uh, his dad's Tom Gaffney. I don't know if you guys know his name, Tom Gaffney. Oh, I'm God. I'm like, serious, man? Guys we're, like we're that. cashing are... in that chip right now. We don't need to do that. Guys like that are horrible. Listen, uh, got to take a break. Uh, <laughs> Direct TV guys are awesome, but don't miss that break. I'll tell you. Uh, okay, uh, back, <laughs> back after this. Welcome back to the Audio Lang Show. A few more minutes with the great Mike Thanks. Gaffney, comic from Jersey City. Support this guy. Uh, he will be at the Borgata next week doing uh, doing his jokes. And um, so uh, where are you after the Borgata? What do you got going on? Uh, where am I? Uh, the uh, Comedy Works in Albany. Oh, yeah? And then okay. I'm opening for Sebastian. You know Sebastian Maniscalco? Sure, he was in. The, he was on the show. Yeah. I Very funny guy. I opened. That's how I got, really, that's how my career started to pick up is I opened for him in Foxwoods. Yeah. He kind of liked what he he's saw. He's got a lot going on. And he's like, anytime I'm on the East Coast, can you open for me? And That's then you nice. had one of his other openers in here, uh, um, 
Uh, what was the kid's uh, name? Yeah, he had another guy in here. Jason. Yeah, yeah, Jason. yeah. yeah, yeah. Lo, yeah lo, uh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, Jason was a... Funny he's toe, a, yeah. He's his West Coast guy. From Cleveland. Yep. And when he lives in L.A. Okay, that's oh, good. Oh, right, right. So, so Sebastian, kind of, every time he's around, he gets me to open for him, so I'm open for him in uh, the DC Improv. Good, yeah. No, he's, he's got a lot going on. Very funny kid. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, that's good. You got to keep busy, man, you know? Uh, I'm every weekend, man. I'm just... Yeah. That's all I'm trying. I, I go off seven nights a week, so, I mean... Right, and what are you gonna do, man? I, I mean, have to. You gotta. That's the only way to get better at stand up. That's for sure. You gotta oh, keep doing it. It's I, and, and it's horrible. It's, I mean, it's not. It's it's, it's a. You're broke. Yeah. But I don't care. Like if I even can. I can't, there's no plan B. There's no, no plan you're B. Right. Well, that's the thing. Are your kids supportive? Oh my god. I mean, I, sixteen and fifteen. Okay. My my daughter. Like if I even interesting age. If I even consider. Oh yeah, interesting. <laughs> Mike's a great dad. Go Mike's right a real, I mean, yeah. he's real great. Yeah. But don't, don't tell him that he's not funny. Yeah. Uh, he, he's a great dad. You picture you know, Vince, Vince Lombardi like, what the hell are you doing in the bathroom so long? <laughs> Nothing, Dad. Just, you know, I'm just trying to stay regular. Just trying to stay regular. What the hell? You're some kind of fairy? Uh, only fairies and birds. I, I'll get out of the bathroom. I love this guy. This guy's an American... <laughs> treasure. American treasure. Get the hell out of the bathroom. You scumbag. Help your mother with the pots and pans if you're going to be abroad. You got it, Dad. Were you being sarcastic, Dad? Or should I really help her? Put on an apron. Okay, Pop. I wait. You don't tackle as good as Ray Nitschke, you fairy. That's a, you're making another good point, Dad. <laughs> Dad, do you mind if I try to stick my head in the blender? <laughs> I got an urge to stick my head in the blender. Any appliance will do. <laughs> what did this son do? Do you know? Do you remember what his son does? I think he's a psychiatrist. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It didn't say. <laughs> I think he's on disability. Yeah. No, it didn't say. He seemed like a nice guy, but had a, had a twitch. All right, so, uh, okay, so um, you got, how, how old's your oldest daughter? My daughter's 16. 16. Oh, she's right, 16. 15. Oh, so right next to each other. Uh -huh. Yeah, one year. Got the apart. Irish twins. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Well, like, listen, come back anytime, oh, I brother. I appreciate it. Thank and you again, so much. Had a good time. You're going to be at the at Borgata, the Borgata next, what, Sunday through? Sunday through, no, Monday through Sunday, which Monday is the Super Sunday. Bowl, which we'll have about. Anybody who comes to that show is going to be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be people who I want to even have right. fun with. Right. Yeah. Who's coming? I, <laughs> I'm going to come. My dad, I have always, I got turned off to the Super Bowl and, <laughs> since 68. My dad punched me in the face with a, with a tire iron. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. Great job. Thanks. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.